I think today's the day I'm finally going to put the alternator on. So as it idles, it's about 13, I don't know, 0.4 maybe. The stereo is on, the electric fan is on, that's it. Uh, the catch is, I can only turn the bass about up halfway when I'm playing the music. And then I'll lose my vault, my voltage. So we're going to see what this new alternator can handle. First, I'm going to remove my air intake pipe. So I've loosened the clamp already. And I've got my uh, temperature sensor on the bottom here. So I'm just going to pop that off. Obviously the alternator is right up in the front. The tensioner is right here. So I gotta get a wrench to take the tension off of it. Okay. Now I'm gonna loosen the tensioner. Just like that. And then I can take the belt right off. Take the bolts out, and the alternator will come free. Okay, so I got my socket out, and I cracked all these bolts loose, so they're just uh, finger tight now. There's one on the back on this side here. That's a stud that lets the alternate that's uh, all the way through the alternator. I disconnected the power harness, and then I've got the lead from the battery right here. Now, I didn't disconnect the battery just because I don't feel like resetting the stereo um, but I am just going to tape this lead up so it's not going to short on anything so let me get the tape on there So this is the small bolt for the front corner of the alternator, and that's the long stud that goes through the whole side. I've taken that out, so I should be able to just pop this guy right out. the old alternator, the front bolt which just went into the casing. In this alternator, the front bolt has to go all the way through the alternator and let's see, ends up out the back. You can't really see it. But, uh, this side lines up okay, so I'm going to just run those in right here. Got to run those in and go from there. I got my bolt in here. I put a washer. You can't see it, but I ended up putting a washer and a lock washer on the back. So now I'm just going to finish tightening up the stud. That's about it. Cool. Now I plug in the electrical and uh, 
go. Put the bulb back on. Well, I've got my new power wire mounted to the alternator. I've got the existing power wire and uh, I guess the trigger wire for the alternator. Now I'm just going to bolt this on to my lug there. For now, it's just going to mount to the front until I um, pick up the new batteries, which are going to be. Uh, I think I'm going to go with some yellow tops, and I'm going to get the bolt top style, so I can bolt all my ring connectors down right through the top on a bolt. I think that'll be a lot more practical than these things. Um, so I'm just going to take this nut off and uh, go ahead and smash that guy on. Well, I found a good place to ground on the bracket to the alternator. Uh, I used two aught copper lugs and I've soldered them on. And this is a one aught or let's see. It's a one aught wire that I'm running. So a two aught copper lug gives you enough room and it's got a nice shoulder on it where you can slide it slide the conductor right inside. Heat it up with a torch. And then you can solder like there's no tomorrow and that's gonna be the better connection than these things. Because these ones I did solder originally I can't really see. I did solder these originally, but I don't like these these connectors are kind of cheap. Um, anyways, now I throw this one over to the battery and then hook it up. Okay, there we go. Got the air cleaner back in. Got my new power wires on there with my nice soldered terminals. I'm going to turn the key and uh, see what the voltage sits at.